The side road takes us to a place where forgotten spirits seem to come right out of the misty landscape to spin their tails. And in this case, it's the road itself that's the ghost. We're here at the Greenwood Roadway, located southeast of Indianola, Iowa. It's a three-mile road racing course that winds through these wooded hills, but there hasn't been a race here since 1966. So, are we spinning our wheels on this side road? No more than they were in 1966, when the three-year dream of building this huge Disney-esque racing theme park, complete with hotels and restaurants, sputtered and died. But oh, what a dream it was. In the late 1950s, local sports car fans, tired of traveling hundreds of miles to compete, decided to build a track in Iowa. Operating on a shoestring, they managed to purchase the land. Capital was raised by selling stock. Today, you can paper your walls with these certificates that'll look really good with an Enron border. But the scheme worked, and in June 1963, thousands turned out to watch the Jaguars, Porsches, Austins, Sunbeams, and MGs kick up some asphalt. Enthusiasts such as Dave Ostrom with his team of Triumph TR3s and Boyer Petroleum with Kendall Oil kept the track alive. Race cars were often driven to the track where the owners would then remove the windshields and mufflers and tape up the headlights before jumping into a heat. Enthusiasm ran faster than reality, however, and the shoestring began to unravel. To keep expenses down, corners were cut, literally. Too little asphalt was laid in the track's corners. When the heavier stock cars hit the track in 1965, the pavement turned out to be thinner than the budget and crumbled. By 1966, go-karts and motorcycles were mostly what remained. And on July 4th, the last race was held. For the next three decades, attempts were made to reopen the bankrupt track, but the costs were too steep. Finally, in 1999, the Iowa operating engineers bought the abandoned track. Where once big names like Richard Petty and the Shelby and Chaparral teams raced, now a different sort of road dream unfolds. Greenwood no longer produces great road racers, but it does create great road builders because this is where heavy equipment operators learn to build the stuff that roadway dreams are made of. And it's all on a side road that refuses to be forgotten.